Hi there, welcome to another unboxing. So this is a Kickstarter that I backed probably whoa, um, beginning of this year. So this is Western Legend. So this is uh, the Kickstarter edition that's got a couple of expansions in the box. Um, now, I did take this out of the outer packaging and, um, and put it back in so I could show you because I have heard of a few damages of the uh, of this game that have gone out but this is for me one of the best boxed games uh, in terms of packaging that i've received especially on kickstarter so okay so what we've got we've got i don't know if you can see it but there's like a double layered cardboard there um the box itself is bubble wrapped and it also has a couple of cardboard ends on it so i just wanted to show you that because i think it's you know credit where credit's due it's one of the best um one of the, the the best kind of packaged games that i've received in a long long time okay so what have we got here western legends uh two expansions included i was worried because i'd seen pictures of this before um that this would be on here all the time but it's just a label so not to worry about that quick look on the back welcome to the wild west uh a contents list but um but we'll we'll have a little brief look at everything anyway so what we got here two to six players uh, 90 to 120 minutes age 14 and up this is all good stuff have we got anything else that's it okay let's get into this box yeah I've, I've got I've got a few kickstarters due this is one of the ones that I haven't been looking forward to that much because I'm really looking forward to a few other things that are coming um, I've got Nemesis on its way be with us in about a month I reckon U-Boot which I'm really looking forward to that'll be with us soon and a few others okay so, Western Legends. Okay, so the box itself is quite thin and flimsy. What you'd get on a, a um, on like a standard board game, like, like Monopoly or something like that. So, pretty flimsy box. But um, the box doesn't matter, it's what is within. Okay, General Store. Let's punch this out quickly so we can have a brief look. So this is going to be like a, I believe this holds some of the card decks and that kind of thing. Did I punch everything? It looks like it. Okay. Um, ba 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 ba. See what? I'm not going to mess around with it. I'll work out how to put together put it together properly. Some more punchy stuff. This looks more to do with the general store as well. Punch it now to get this out of the way. Punching quality is excellent. I don't feel like I'm in any danger whatsoever of damaging the cardboard. That was slightly damaged, but that is okay. Um, yeah, sorry, when I say the, the punching is good, so I didn't feel like I was going to damage anything by punching it. There's a minor tiny bit of damage on there, which I'm not even going to show you, and that's how it came, so that wasn't as a result of the... The, uh, the punch anything out. Get this out of the way quickly. Right, that'll do. That, that will do. I'm wasting time. Okay, the rule book. It's very nice, kind of matte ish. Looks well laid out. So we've got a list of components like we've got in the back of the box as well. This all looks very laid out, laid out very nicely. Um, buh, 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 buh. Characters, playing the game, phases of play. Yes, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, I'm not going to take us through all of that. So let's have a look at what's next. Nice Extra bit of packaging protecting the board. Right, so we have a, a big board. Uh, 
nice big board there. Um, okay, so just to give you a list of things that we've got here, we've got a wanted track, a story deck that we're going to turn cards over, the martial track, um, legendary points track, uh, which you can't see quite at the bottom, then fold that up. This is the legendary points track here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, $20, $10, the poker deck, and whatever deck that's going to be. This is all light. Um, this all looks very nice. The art on there is good. I like it. Um, yes, the good looking board. Single sided. Uh, so no treats on the back. So this is one of the things I was worried about and I'm really glad. I was hoping that the fistful of extras um, wouldn't just be mixed up in the box. So I'm glad that that's got its own little box inside. So we'll unbox that in a while. Good, the bad and handsome, uh, handsome as well. has got its own little box there, which looks pretty good. I don't know why it's not made up and in the box. Maybe it wouldn't fit, but that's okay. We've got little dudes. That's the, so this guy is a miniature that was added to the game. Um, as a little surprise for us for when we open the box. It's not such a surprise for us EU backers because we've only got them recently when other, other territories have had the game for months. Um, these miniatures, although small, are good quality. I do like them. Let's have a, let's have a look. I tell you what, I will go. I will show all of the miniatures individually at the end, because I know some people aren't interested in kind of going through them, because um, it means a lot more to some people than it does to others. So I'll come back to that lot. Right, we've got a ton of baggies, which is excellent because um, I, have a, I, have a, I have a love of games that provide these with. Um, in, in the box. So this is really good, really good. Really pleased that we've got these. A couple of sexy dice. Let's have a look at these. They are, they both appear to be the same. Yes, they are. They're nice, they're big dice. Probably, probably 20 mil wide. They're good, I like those. Very nice. We've got some gold nuggets. Um, which look all right. They're pretty good. I might actually give these a a shade paint. Um, because I think they they will really look great with an extra little bit of paint on those. So yeah, I think those those look very nice indeed. And I think I'll do the same with the miniatures as well, just to get them looking their best. Some wooden tokens and markers and stuff. So we've got square ones, we've got little discs. Black, blue, yellow, red and purple. Okay, so those look nice. We have got bunch of little bases so the same colors as we've just seen in there in the um the tokens and we've got a bunch of gray ones which i think are for bandits i think i think okay what else have we got little punch board legendary tokens and some blue and green look like buffalo a little clock first player marker and some red ones that look like red almost like a red teardrop I'm not sure what they are okay now this is cool so on the back of these tokens you've got different things so I'll give you two examples let's say one of them says gain one gold nugget and one says draw $30 and one poker card I won't go through them all to give you some um, give you some surprises when you're playing it but those are good I'll 
punch a couple for prosperity and they are they punch well they punch nicely okay so that's good 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 i'm enjoying this go fans of ikea will recognize these so that's this is our instructions to put together um a little a little shop there play a turn so i'm assuming one two three four Yep, six of these. So one for every uh, one for every potential player. These are flimsy as hell. So I may um, I may laminate. Okay, and then we've got player cards. So these you got one for sorry player cards. I've um, player mat. So you get one for each color. Six of those. So they lay out your items, your weapon, your mount, your wallet. Whatever you're going to keep in this golden nugget tin, which I think is tobacco tin. <clears throat> One for your poker cards, I believe. And then some sort of track there for cards in your hand. But this looks good. I believe these all are, they look the same. They look identical, yeah, other than just the colour for the player cards. Now, um, okay, so there's no cards in here. And I'm told that is because if we search further underneath here, we will find, yes, there's all our cards for playing the game. So let's take these out and have a quick look. So I've gone for the all-in pledge with this. Um, I did it as part of a group pledge on um, a Facebook group. And what the only thing that we haven't received is our extra poker deck, I believe, um, because they didn't they didn't ship those with the group pledges. So those are coming some point later, whenever we get them. So let's have a look. <clears throat> so these cards, right? We've got some some cards for money. So you can see that ten dollars. Let's get into this. Looking at the baggies that they've given us, it does look as though we've got many, many, many more baggies than we're actually going to need. Okay, so these are all money, 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 money. There's actually not a lot. So $10, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just eight of those, unless, oh, wait a minute, these are $10 as well. So yeah, we'll have another look at those in a minute. Okay, so these are all different goal cards for different people. Wild Earp, Wild Bill Hickok, Stagecoach Mary, Kit Carson, Jesse James, Doc Holiday, Calamity Jane, Calam, um, Bloody knife, nice. Billy the Kid and Bass Reeves. Oh, one minute, one more. Annie Oakley. Annie are you Oakley. Right, okay. So those look good. I'm not going to show you what these are because I don't want to spoil any gameplay stuff. It's going to come up as you play. Here we've got more, more character stuff. Annie Oakley continued. I can get into this. Bear with me. Oh. Right. So Annie Oakley continued. Oh, there was just one more Annie Oakley. There you go. And I think JB Rowdy's gonna be our um our extra character that we got. The Native American. If I said Indian earlier, I apologize. Okay. So these are all weapon cards. So you've got different you've got types on one side and it looks like uh, effects on the other. So again, I'm not gonna go through these, but um, just to save it for the gameplay. Um, so those are all weapons. These are mounts. So you've got some 
pucker um, steeds like Poncho and Pilgrim. You've got some some shocking ones like Moses, Lady and Hambone. There we go. Got a bunch of item cards. We'll look at two. So we've got a miner's map, a 10 galleon hat. I'll keep the rest a secret. If you do want me to do another um, video going through all of the cards and stuff, let me know. I'm happy to do that. I just don't want to waste, I don't want to ruin the game for anyone. I know that you ruin a certain amount for um, when you do unboxings and that kind of thing, but um, but yeah, I don't want to oh, annoy, I don't want to ruin anyone's game. Right, okay, what have we got here? So, right, we have a deck of cards. I'll have a look at those in a second. With a twist. So, they are marked up in suits, but there's also some bonus and actions and that kind of thing on there. So, this is a so it's a kind of dual purpose. You can it's used. It's it is a standard deck of cards. You know you could use it for playing cards, um, but there's also a number of effects and that kind of thing in there. So that's cool. I like that. These cards were in with that poker deck. Um, so I'll just have a quick look to see what they are. Right. So these are these are, these look like these are some sort of goal cards. So it looks like you. You achieve what you've got on there, and you may get what's on the other side. But again, I'm not ruining it for anyone. So let's go. So we've got one more deck of cards to look at before we start looking at the expansions. These decks are well wrapped. They're not very easy to get into. Right. Good, good, good. Quite happy to open all these because I know I've got a million baggies to put stuff in. Okay, so we've got these character cards to get one for each character. It includes um, includes their starting location and starting bonuses and a little bit of flavour text for the characters. And I will read the one for... Doc Holiday. So if you don't want Doc Holiday's uh, flavour text um, ruined for you, skip ahead about 30 seconds. Okay. John Henry Doc Holiday was an American gambler, gunfighter and dentist. Despite being diagnosed with consumption, the very illness that claimed his mother, he went west for the dry air and promise of adventure. Along the way, he befriended Wyatt Earp. He's best known for his role as a deputy marshal in the events leading up and following the gunfight at the OK Corral. Good, good, good. OK. Those are the character cards. These are characters. Right. A bunch of cards for the man in black. Scary stuff. One card that gives you the setup. I think that's to play as the man in black. So that's good. And then the rest of these are cards the same as these ones here. So that's good. This all looks really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna look at next. Let's have a look. B -b -b the good, the bad, and the handsome expansion. Let's look at this expansion first. I'll do my very best to keep everything completely separate. I am hoping that when I make this box up, it's going to fit in here. I'd like to keep everything in one box if I can. That would be excellent. And I like the look of the general store because I think when it's made up, it's going to fit in here. So we can put things in it that will just be ready to go. Um, that we won't have to, we won't have to make up every time we want to play. Okay, let's make this box up so we can use it as I unbox what's the rest of the things in that cellophane bag. Nice, tidy box. Quite a good, for a small box, it's quite sturdy, um, which is good. Okay. 
What's the legends, the good, the bad, and the handsome? This gives us the overview, the components, how to set it up, and the new story cards that we get. And, ba -ba 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 -ba, and some legendary items and stuff. So that's good. That is good. So we'll have a very, the briefest of looks at the cards. Okay, so got Judge Roy Bean. So that's some cards for him. Uh, Jacqueline Murrieta. I think that's about right. Butch Cassidy. This is good. Some more items. Very nice. Nice. Okay, so we've got some more similar cards here to what we had. We've got action cards. Initiate a fight with another player. I don't forget anything else in this box. We get that. These are all initiate a fight with another player. Okay, and then we get our character cards. So this is good. So I'm not sure what difference these will make to the gameplay. I don't think it's just a it's the same it's the same ship but just more of it. Because I'm kind of expecting that's what we're gonna get in the in the fistful of extras. But yeah, but it does look good, but I'll read up more and find out um if it is just to be mixed with the rest of the content or not. Because I think before you've got a game down, sometimes it can be a bad idea to start mixing your expansion content because it just starts to the game starts to get convoluted because you don't know enough about the core mechanics and you before you add stuff to it. Okay, fistful of extras. What have we got in here? We have got a tiny little fabric bag. We have got some more miniatures, which we'll look at again at the end. We have got this full of extras, They're exactly the same as what we had with the good, bad and the handsome. So overview set up, some information about the Joker cards, which will get added to our, uh, to our poker deck. Bandit card variant, uh, how to set it up, and then a little bit of a credit reel at the end. So this, this is good, so this is, this looks like it's definitely going to add some alternative gameplay uh, to what we've already got. And I can see that we've got a little pack of stickers, which I'll be interested to see how they get used. Hmm. I don't know if it's some sort of legacy aspect, because obviously these are going to be a one-time use only thing. I kind of hope not, not for this game. But anyway, I'll find out about that. Okay. Let's just have a look, actually. Six... Do, 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 do. One sticker sheet. Let's see, find out what it's for. Shuffle the new legends in with others. And deal two to each player. Shuffle the new story cards with its blah, 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 blah. Joker cards. Two new Joker cards in this expansion, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I don't really know what those stickers are for. The stick, the six stickers, the six miniatures. To play with this variant, players must apply the corresponding sticker to the bottom of the bandit. Nice, yep, I get, I understand that, because, you know, if you start, if, you, if these are applied by hand, Okay, so these faces aren't numbered, but we will find a way. Right, okay. So we know now that this is mainly just to be added to some of our existing decks, but we will, we will look on regardless. Okay. My right, starting the right end. Right, okay. So some more steeds. These look to be like middle of the road ones. Some more weapons, some more items, some more um, character cards. So I am going to assume Okay, it appears that for whatever reason there are no 
potentially one female bandit, which is which is potentially Bell Star. I think am I getting that right? Yeah, I think that might be Bell Star. Anyway, so yeah, so more of more of the same of what we've already seen. Alan Pinkerton, um, Bell Star, Buffalo Bill Cody. Isom Dart, or Isom Dart, I don't know how to pronounce that, and uh, Pearl Heart as well. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. And we'll look at this. This is the last deck of cards we've got to look at. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This is turning in to be quite an epic Epically long unboxing. Okay, so these are different. So these are bandit cards. Um, again, for playing different characters. So we've got a character, Alan Pinkerton, Batmaster. I must have glossed over his cards. I didn't see that. Bell Star, Buffalo Bill Cody, Isam Dart, Pearl Heart. We've got a Joker codes cards to add to our deck. And then a whole bunch of these cards again. So that is that in terms of the main content. So let's have a look at these miniatures. I'll go through all the ones that were in the, the main box to start with. I'm not going to know the names, so we're just going to have a, a brief look at the actual miniatures. And if I line them up. It might be good to see a few at once rather than doing them all individually, which will which I'm sure no one wants to sit through. Okay, here we go. There's a first lot which all look pretty cool. They might not look impressive at first look, but I'm pretty sure that if these gets primed and and a bit of a base coat and a wash on them. I think they're going to look really, really cool. I think that the definition in here will pop out. I've seen a few painted versions actually, and they do look, they do look very good. Okay, here's our next lot. So that's ten we've got so far. Okay, so this brings us up to 14. So we've actually got two Native Americans in there, but I believe that this is the surprise one. But they look cool as well. And finally, we'll look at the ones from the Fistful of Extras expansion. So we get six in here. Okay, so here we go. Here's our last ones. So we get one more Native American. And blah, 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 blah. we've got some comedy twisty guns on there, which we'll fix with some hot water. But that is Western Legends. Um, and I have to say that I'm impressed. I think it looks, I think it's gonna be excellent. I'm really looking forward to getting this to the table. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this and you are interested in seeing a review for this, let me know in the comments. And, you know, if enough people say they want one, I would definitely post a review. But, um, yeah, thanks very much. My next video is going to be a Warhammer Conquest issue 10 unboxing. Uh, if you want to be in with a chance of winning a copy of issue number 10, which is a uh, it's a vehicle, I believe, a, a Warhammer 40k vehicle. Um, pop over to that. Um pop over to that video all you need to do is subscribe and leave a comment and yeah if we get over 3,000 views in a month i'll be giving it away and i'll be posting it worldwide so anyway hope you enjoyed this uh, if you did like and subscribe if you didn't let me know why catch you later